Okay, this one's about disassembling the accumulator for the air conditioner or heat pump. I just wanted to show you what's inside these things and all the parts and so on. Okay, here you can see uh, the tubing that's inside it. Uh, the accumulator is uh, the gas uh, is coming in here. Gas could have oil and refrigerant, liquid refrigerant in it. That's why it's here to keep the liquid refrigerant from hitting the uh, uh, compressor. And then the tube that goes out is a little different here. Now I'm going to turn this around. Okay, here's the entrance to this tube that goes out of the accumulator. Now it takes refrigerant off the top. The reason it's taking refrigerant off the top is so that refrigerant can build up inside here without running liquid refrigerant through until it gets right up to the top. If I have this set up this way, refrigerant and oil can come through here, go into the accumulator, and all it would do is sit in the bottom of the accumulator. So the accumulator would gather up liquid refrigerant and oil that would actually take all the oil out of the system put a bot put it in the bottom of the accumulator here and the the unit would stop operating of course if you ran out of oil and a compressor take the compressor out okay let's go back to the other side and we'll look at what makes this thing work it's this little doohickey right down here essentially what this is this screen is covering a small hole so when liquid refrigerant and oil get to the bottom of this, it'll build up to the level where this uh, hole is inside here, and it will bleed a little bit of the mixture of oil and liquid refrigerant into this tube, which will go out and into the compressor. Now the hole's calibrated to be small enough that any liquid refrigerant or oil that goes into it would not damage the compressor. But this is the way it keeps this thing from filling up. It's constantly feeding a small amount of refrigerant through that screen and through the hole inside there to the compressor. Now, if there was a lot of refrigerant that was coming in here through this pipe here, a lot of liquid refrigerant, uh, more than this little hole could accommodate, then it will start to fill. And now it's doing its job. That's what its job is. Excess refrigerant not needed by the refrigeration system is actually stored here. So uh, if let's say a drop a minute is going through that little hole, it's probably more than that, but uh, let's say a drop a minute of refrigerant was going through that little hole. If two drops per minute were coming out of here, then it would start to fill up until there was no more liquid refrigerant uh, coming in. It was all being used by the system. So that's really all this thing is. I'll do another video calling, um, going over troubleshoot and so on like that. Now the last thing I wanted to show you is this. Okay, this plug here is a threaded in plug. Most of the newer ones are, are, are not threaded in. Uh, this has a little hole in the center of it that has low temperature solder inside. So the idea here is if the system were subjected to high temperatures, the solder would melt and it'd blow the charge out. That's really all it's for. These things are kind of a leak problem, but uh, in the future, I will do more on these things with some troubleshoot and, uh, and the like on them. So that is the accumulator disassembled.